This is a quick video to just demonstrate how to take your variables from the PCA results and then work with the numbers to show the PCA image, the graph, a uh, scatter plot that you can interpret in some way. So just a very quick tutorial on how to do that. So your table looks something like this. You've got samples right here. These are the names of samples. You can see here annotation. So this is ER and TN, triple negative and ER positive. And here you've got the PCs, so PC1, PC2, PC3, PC4, etc. Now, how do I make a scatter plot? A lot of people just select all of this, and then they go over here under Insert and do a scatter plot, and then they get something like this. Now, that is not how you do it. Okay, so let me show you how to do it. First of all, I select this, and then I go to Insert, and I do a scatter plot. Okay, and now what am I getting here? I am getting here these numbers are going to be x numbers and these are going to be y numbers right so this is going to be my x val x axis and y axis okay so just to make this a little bit cleaner let's get rid of these little things and now we want to do a separation of these samples into where do i have my triple negative and er positive how do i do that okay so first of all pca example pc1 versus PC2. Okay, why is this important by the way? Because I can look at how much data am I explaining with taking only two of all of these axes. So how much percent of the data am I explaining? 18% plus 6%, so just over 20%, uh, maybe 20, close to 25, so just a quarter of my data. So not a lot. It gives me some idea about the data, but it's not a great representation of everything that's going in there. But it is useful. Okay, so let's go in here, and we will go over here to select data. And you can see that all of my stuff is under series 1. What I'm going to do is just add another series, and I'm going to call it ER. And I'm going to select the X for ER. And then I'm going to select the Y for ER. Okay, now I'm going to take TN, triple negative, and again I'm going to take the X values and the Y values. Alright, so now I've got ER and TN, and this is going to be called all. Okay, now where's the horizontal axis labels? What are those? So the horizontal axis labels are going to be all of um, these things right here. Okay. Maybe I can't use that right now. All right, let's go OK. All right, so now I have this nice separation. Now, once you've worked with this a little bit, you're going to see that there's a lot of things that you can do. Um, and because you can do it, it's sometimes nice to do it. Okay, so let's do this. Uh, first of all, this is border. I'm interested in fill. And maybe let's make it a little bit darker. Um, and this is going to be, that's fine. Let's go to fill. Let's just make it red. Okay, so now, unfortunately, I also have to change the border. Also change that to red. I also take this and change this to red to dark. All right, so now we've got a very clear picture of what's going on. Now, another thing that you can do is you can label these things. How do you label these things? If you're really interested, okay, you can go and right click and add data labels. Now, these data labels don't tell you anything. Uh, so, what can you do? This is 0 0.4. Okay, unfortunately, this is a Mac. So there's not a lot that you can do automatically. Sorry, add data labels. There we go. So now I can have data labels for all of my dots. Now, what is this? 0, 4, 2, 3, 4, 6, 0, 4, and now this is going to be on uh, the Y label. So it's right here. So 0, 4, 2, 3, 4, 6 is right here. That's this one. How do I change it? Well, I can change it, for example, manually. So I can go ERR 
Okay, so that is going to be my label. That's it. That's how you work it. Uh, you can do a lot with this chart now, but at least what you can see is that the samples are separated. Here's my uh, my ER group, and here's my triple negative group. Now, just before we finish, let's go ahead and add uh, a quick element here and do a legend at the bottom. Okay, and now we can see these are ER and TN. All right, hope this was helpful. I will be posting more of these later on. And uh, I will show you another way that you can do a PCA chart in a much quicker way.